welcome back to our channel again in this video we will see how we can locate the html elements by link test so what are link test basically these are hyperlinks hyperlinks means those are anchor text so if you come to this website like fewsteps.blogspot.com in the top there are a couple of things home python excel a testing and so on so these are actually link so if you move your cursor here in this right corner of this browser browser you will see that it is changing right so right now it is python if we move in the top of the excel then we are seeing that it is excel in this way it is changing so basically these are hyperlink so in this video we will see how we can actually inspect this element like we want to inspect this element or this element okay these all are hyperlinks and we can use on method of selenium and python that is called find element by link text okay we can use that to figure out uh, this thing this element uh, that means to inspect this element so uh, let's get it started so at first uh, this is the page so right click on top of it and then uh, just choose inspect then it will show in the chrome uh, browser uh, chrome developer tool that the details of that thing so right now we click python so it is showing this type of thing like a href then the python then this is the anchor text okay so these are the anchor text anchor text are start with a and ends with slash a okay and inside it it is the link or url okay so we need to inspect this element we already did that now we will check whether by using that method that means the method file element by link test we can actually trace this element or not okay and the text of the uh, here is python right we need this word okay so let me do one thing let me double click and copy this thing first uh, so that we don't need to copy it again so i'm going to minimize this thing and now let's go to the code so this is the pycharm editor and right now we already uh, this is the pycharm editor and i already uh, made a uh, skeleton of this uh, like this so we are in the pycharm editor and this is a simple block of code which you actually uh, did a couple of times before uh, to test like based on the id or name or xpath or css selector okay uh, this is the common structure so here there is a class find uh, by link test and uh, there is a method test and we created this object of this line cd that means chrome driver and cd dot test we are calling this method and here uh, we need to change this url right so here what is the url the url should be like this right so i'm going to right click copy this is the main url and then i'm going to here and then i'm changing the base url so basically the base url is still this part okay we can actually delete this thing instead copy a uh, same thing it will be the same thing okay or if you wish you can also paste it which you copied there it will be the same thing okay now uh, it is the base url and this is locating the driver the driver is there uh, it is using chrome driver and then after that we are opening this url now we need to inspect that element so we can inspect this element let me create a variable like i mean uh, link element link element uh, equal and driver dot find element by link text we have to use this method because we are using link here okay and inside it we have to put the link text so what is the text of there uh, for this link so the text is python right if you want to select this thing so select this thing or you can manually type uh, i'm going to copy and then i'm going to put it here so inside the code we are putting it here and remember one thing always uh, this thing will be in quote so you can use single quote or double quote uh, in python both of them are allowed but if you use if you are using single quote then you have to use single quote everywhere of your code uh, and if you use double quote then everywhere you have to use double quote you cannot mix and match okay so uh, this is a link element uh, and then let's test whether it is really there or not we can test like by using uh, if a statement if uh, link test link element is not none that means it's which is present then print then you can print uh, like found found uh, link text just something like this and we can finally print uh, the link item right we can copy it and put it here okay and the other lines of code is the same uh, we will wait five seconds and after that uh, it will be closed and this is the test method and then uh, by this two line what we did uh, we created a object of this class and then after that we creating object uh, we are calling that method from that object okay so this is the method 
test or function okay in this way we did this thing so this is the script now let's run it we can run uh, by right click and then choose run example uh, this one this file name and then it will open the browser and then it will go to that particular website and then it will try to inspect that element but here let me show you one thing uh, this script will fail okay i'll show you now so here if you go there uh, you are seeing that uh, it is giving uh, this type of warning that means it failed and there is exit exit code one that means it failed there is some error so what is the error if we read the details here so no such element unable to locate element and then method name link test okay this is the link test we know this method is correct 100 percent and select python so and this python is also correct how we know because we actually inspect it by like this way right so here python but uh, see one thing so when it opened the website okay so these are the links here we are seeing home python excel testing html this text but here the text are capital but when we inspected this element we are seeing these are actually a small letter python right capital p and a small letter but whenever we are opening the output in the website it is capital letter so whenever selenium and python or selenium and python all together they are trying to search uh, this text python it is unable to figure out what is the python right this case sentence like all are capital so what we have to do we have to change this thing okay so here we are seeing capital so if we can change this thing then it will work so let me change this thing like python py p y t h o n python we just uh p y so we just made this capital because when we are opening uh, we are seeing exactly same so that is the problem of link test i'll show you more details later but right now let's see whether it is working properly or not so let me close this thing because we don't need and then this is the other thing we can erase and then uh, clean it and right click and run this thing and let's check whether it is working properly or not now it will work because we know this is capital so it opened the page and it will wait five seconds after five seconds it will be closed okay and yes uh, it gives us exit code zero that means it executed successfully so what was the problem before we put a small case right P Y T H O N or capital P and a small letter. But when we open the website, we are seeing also capital. So this is the problem. Link test. Uh, it should be exactly same. Otherwise, it will uh, give you this type of error. So it is very tricky. But in the next video, we'll show you uh, how we can use partial link test. Then uh, it, this problem will be resolved very soon. Okay, we'll see that later. Not this session. Okay, and after executing this thing that means after finding this element it is trying to print found link element which we mentioned and then after that it is printing the uh, element which we found uh, this is printing the whole details of that but it's uh, not easily understandable by human but we can actually go those uh, detail later not now and then it is executing i mean it is quoting the browser okay so in this way we can do so that's all uh, in this way you can use uh, find element by link test and then inside it we have to put the text but this text should be unique otherwise we will get some error or the script will fail so thank you guys for watching this video hopefully you learned at least something uh, new in this video and if you like this video and if you feel this video is useful please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel and please share this to others thank you for watching see you on the next video in the next video we'll see how we can overcome this type of issues okay thank you bye bye